Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I just woke Tara up and changed her diaper. So now we're gonna take her to get some breakfast and let her play with some babies. First, I gotta find Alicia though. Yo, compadre! And of course, I find Alicia back to sleep. What? Good morning. This is my allotted bed. Let's go make Tara a bottle. Bottle. Time to make Tara's wholesome breakfast. That's too much. All right, a good solid eight ounces of filtered water. And because chimpanzees are 98% our same, um, regular formula, just like you use for your babies at home, is exactly what we use. Because Tara is just a really hairy baby that also can swing from the chandeliers at the age of six months. But it's fine. I really do feel like I just woke up. <laughs> you did, I found you on the couch. Ay, ay, ay. Shake it. What color does Tara want today? Here, this is for your bottle. Can you hold that? Hold it. Good job. Good work, Tara. Good work. This is smashed banana. Fresh. Oh gosh. <laughs> What do you think, Tara? You ready for a bottle? Breakfast. Breakfast is served. <laughs> She's really good. She's really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, she vetoed that bottle. So sometimes Tara is a little stubborn on a bottle, so we'll feed that to her a little bit later. But recently, it's actually because I made it. She she's knows. decided that she really enjoys chia pudding. Le spoon. Mmm, delicious. Well, this is literally just oat milk, chia seeds, and bananas. But it tastes fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Now Tara eats about every four hours. Generally she does eat her bottle, but sometimes it takes her a moment to decide she wants it. Um, she also eats a little bit of fresh fruits and vegetables, just like you're seeing here. And of course you've seen her running around on Chimp Dinner Live or Great Ape Dinner Escape, or you better have eating some lettuce and some apples and some new things just like that. Now Tara's just moved on to solid foods, but she still predominantly eats a bottle. Looks like Tara's all done with this. So we're gonna let her play with her tiger babies. Cause as you know, I raise tiger babies in my house. And so Tara gets to play with them. Hey you babies. Now these babies are six weeks old. Tara's been with them since they were born. So she's interacted with them on a daily basis. What are you doing? What you got to say? As you can see, these tigers are making a little bit of noise, and that's because they think that they should get fed all the time. Even though they get fed around the clock every four hours, they act like they've never been fed. Tara. Yeah. Yeah, babies. Yeah, babies. Yeah, babies. Well, it's really rare to see tigers and chimps in the wild because they don't actually live in the same areas. But here at, at Myrtle Beach Safari, we actually raise a lot of our animals together. And that includes um, tiger cubs. I have a baby hyena, a baby chimpanzee, of course, is running around with the tiger cubs. And all the animals are raised with dogs. <laughs> yeah. You dork. Look at your lovely bellies. I like it. Yeah. 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 That's exciting. <laughs> Improving your toys. <laughs> Now Molly and Tara both live with me, and so Molly actually has been with Tara since she was tiny and has helped raise her. So they enjoy each other's company, and they play every day, in the morning and at night, before bed, and when they get up. There's nothing a chimp loves more than another chimp. 
Volley loves hanging out with Sagriva and Sagriva loves hanging out with Volley. They are their favorite things in the entire world. And so Volley also has this incredible opportunity to spend time with Tara and they just love each other. Volley doesn't only just enjoy playing with her, he's also her protector. If Tara starts crying or is worried about something, he will rush over, he will pick her up, and he will carry her around and hug her. It is the most amazing thing to see these guys interact with each other so much like people do. It's also incredible to watch them grow up because they hit milestones just like people do, and so you get excited about it, just like if they were their moms. Yeah, Lulu! Molly's so glad you joined us. Yeah. Obviously, Bali's also helped raise the hyena, and they love each other. Now, this hyena may look big, but he's only two months old. Tara here is just about to turn one. Her birthday is on June 6th. Check it out, we're gonna throw a birthday party. And Bali here is almost 10 years old. These guys are incredible growing machines. Bali's not even full grown yet. When he's full grown, he'll be about five feet tall, weigh about 250. This hyena is only two months old. On record, the biggest one is 300 pounds. You want to try your bottle? Mm. No? <laughs> All right, say ah. Well, look. Ah. Good job. Now this is a nutritious, delicious shake. It's got almond milk. It's got some pea protein powder, chocolate some frozen berries, and a banana. A new thing is scrumptious delicious. Sometimes we add spinach. And there goes Tara, wrecking the house. See what happens when they're babies? What happens when they get older? They become little refined people. Goober. As I was saying earlier about great apes being very closely related to us and that they're ticklish and they belly laugh, so does Bali. Except he's so strong you can barely get in there to tickle him even though he wants you to tickle him as hard as he can. Hold the legs. There we go. Do I get this? Volley is the only swimming chimp right now, but we're actually teaching Tara to swim as well. She does enjoy going down to the pool, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna take Volley's to go hang out with his brother, and we're gonna take Tara and Zulu to go down to the pool and practice swimming. All right, we're all set and ready to go. We got our supplies, and we got some other like rubber duckies and boats on the golf cart, and we're gonna travel over to the swimming pool. Zulu decided he's walking himself. Now we just started teaching the hyena to swim. The hyena, we have a bridge in the middle of the pool that's in the kiddie pool, but he doesn't really understand it yet. So we like to bring him down to the beachfront. And basically we sit in the shallow end and let Tara just sit there while Zulu has decided to swim really good and he actually swims underwater. You can He's excited, yeah! Okay, Tara. You gotta take your diaper off. Oh, are we in the pool? Oh, our duck ran away. Now Tara is just about one year old. I've actually been bringing her down to the pools since she was about three months old. And she's enjoyed it from day one. She's just become like a little water dog. She enjoys showers and baths. I'm sure you guys have seen her little showering on Instagram with Volley. And her bath time video. We did her first bath. Yeah, we did her first bath some time ago. Zulu! And she hangs out with Ollie so much that hopefully Volly is going to show her the ropes on swimming. Yay! Well, since we like the pool so much around here, well, everyone else does. I do not like the pool, but I deal with it because it's good enrichment for the animals. Um, so we've been bringing Zulu down here since he was little, and he just aquatically picked it up on his own. Now obviously Tara's still young, so these are just her first steps into pool life. But eventually, we're gonna put her in a floaty. I got her one for her birthday, don't tell. And let her start swimming around. First step is kicking their feet. She doesn't wanna kick your feet, she wants to stand. Wah. This is what we do to acclimate her to the water. Come on Tara! Come on! That's a good girl. <laughs> That's a good baby, baby steps. 
You guys ready to get out? You been in here long enough? Let's towel off. What do you think? Mm. Ooh, you make so many funny noises, it's great. I love it. Yeah. Tara doesn't like it when she loses contact with me. Any barriers are off limits. When we go to bed at night, she rips the blanket off of me so she can plow on top of me and then wants the blanket pulled on top of us. All right, Zulu's all dried off as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you liked about the video. And of course, we'll, we'll see, see you in the, the next, next one. one. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>